I see a lot of people talking about the TDR most build, but that build can actually work on every character. And in today's video, I want to show you my TDR Amara build. It's pretty much equivalent to Moses TDR build as it just destroys everything and you just don't die. And this is my first Mayhem 4 build. This build can consistently get you through Mayhem 4 with ease. Like if you're having, uh, if you're having trouble getting through Mayhem 4, this is what you want to use because this build is just insane. Like it's actually crazy. So the main thing you want to have is just TDR shotguns that blow up and can split into home and MRVs or MRVs. So I have one in each element right here, shock, fire, and corrosive just to help out with everything. Uh, my, I literally don't have any anoints on them to do anything. With this build, I'm not even using terror. So if you want a build that doesn't use terror, this also could be a build for you. Uh, even though terror is really strong, this build doesn't even use it. And it's honestly stronger than my terror build I have. Like this build is insane. But yeah, right here, like I said, there's nothing special about these uh, shotguns other than that when you throw them, they explode and they split into they split into the MRV grenades or MRV and they kill everything. Like it's it's insane how much damage they do and how much damage the reload does. So how you're going to use them is just shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload. In the shock one, you can throw at your feet because of the transformer shield. And this is going to constantly heal you because every time you do shock damage, your shield is getting regenerated. So... This makes you literally invincible because if you get weak, you just throw the shotgun on the ground, blows up, and you get max shields. And the way we're going to always be having ammo is the face punch right here and the cut purse deathless class mod. This is also what makes us really tanky. So what this class mod does, every time we melee an enemy, we get 8% ammo refill and 8% ammo return to allies. So, so you just get ammo every time you melee an enemy. And then have the other part where it puts your health on one and you get a lot of shields, shield recharge rate, shield recharge delay. So that pairs real well with the Transformer because the Transformer already has a lot of shields and then pairs real well with the Shock Shotgun because you just always are getting max shields and you just have an insane, insane amount of health. I think I have like all, like 24,000 uh, shields so you don't die at all. The Face Puncher is going to pair real well with the Cut Purse Deathless Class Mod as well because the Face Puncher acts as a melee when you shoot it so each melee you do is proccing your melee so this one is shooting 14 pellets so 14 pellets into me is giving me 8% ammo back. So literally with the one shot, you just get max ammo back. And then you can just keep throwing these over and over and over and over again. It's it's so fun. Then for the grenade, I'm just using It's Pissed. To come off. I'm going against a boss. I just throw it on the boss, do 20% more damage. I just don't want to use anything else because I don't want to apply terror to myself or anything. Because I'm, I'm trying to make this a non-terror build. And then I have the phase zerker class on right here. Which gives me plus five points in anima. I also get shotgun damage, weapon damage, and actual cooldown rate, which is going to help out a lot. So going into the skill trees, starting off with mystical assault, I have three in fast hands, one in do harm, and one in violent tapestry. Just get down to the bottom right here. Uh, fast hands is really good because you can reload fast and swap to the face puncher to get your ammo back. Uh, I have alacrity right here to get even more reload speed, which is really really nice because you can throw the gun even faster and it comes back even faster you can do a lot more dps uh five and restless to get 25 percent more cooldown rate for my action skill uh one in ascendant to make my stillness of mind be a lot better and then i have three points in wrath right here to get 20 percent more gun damage and 20 percent after i pop an action skill i'm gonna be getting a lot more gun damage with this skill because of stillness of mind and restless and all my other gear because it's a, just a lot of cooldown rate and i will Pretty much always be having this up for the most part next skill tree i put five points animal which makes it to 10 so i'm getting more status effect damage and duration and then the plus 80 percent even more since i'm using the shock element and i'm obviously going to be using the shock tdr for the most part and i'm just doing an insane amount of damage uh five points of tempest more elemental damage even more shock damage so that's just crazy uh steady hands i don't really need the accuracy i just got the handling so i can just play the game a little better and i also just want to get down to the bottom uh just one point illuminated fist uh just to get down to the bottom you could have i probably could have put it in wildfire maybe to spread the elements uh eight percent chance it might be a little more better but i just like it in this just you know if i just want to bop an enemy one point dread to do more gun damage as after an enemy is phase locked and I get the magazine reloaded. That's worthless because you want to literally be reloading all the time. But you get 15% more gun damage, which is really good. 
and one point deep well to make my elemental magazines go up by 20%, which gives me more ammo for the TD or shotguns, which means more damage. Because the more ammo you have in it, the more damage you do. Then for the Axis Skull, I'm going to be running ties that bind right here to link everything together and just kill stuff even quicker. Like the amount of AoE damage you have is just nuts. Like it's even better than the Brainstormer build. Like it's actually insane. Final skill tree, we have three points of personal space to do more damage up close, which we will be all the time because we're throwing the shotgun at our feet for the most part. So we're getting that benefit. Uh, these two skills are here. Clarity and Root to Rise don't even matter because of the artifact we're using. So I just have one in each of them just to get down to the bottom. I think it looks better that way. Uh, then I have five points of arms deal, do 20% more splash damage and 40% splash damage reduction so not only on top of that you're throwing your shotgun down you're doing less splash damage to yourself you're getting max shields back and you're killing everything like it's such it's this is such a good build then I have three points of mindfulness to get more movement speed which is just nice to have to close the distance on the enemy and shield regeneration delay uh, that's gonna make my shield come back faster since the shield is the only thing I'm using to protect myself this stacks to 25 toms and the duration is 5 seconds and this skill is very 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 good. I'm just going to scroll through the skill trees one more time just so you can see everything if you want to copy it down. But there's just going to be gameplay for the rest of the video while I just talk about the build. During boss fights I will switch to phase cast just to proc the extra damage because you can't phase grass most of the bosses in the game. So I use phase cast just to proc the damage and all my other buffs and I just go to town on the boss. Uh, you see I, I in the gameplay I killed uh, Chupacabra and uh, Captain Trot like so quick and it's on Mayhem 4. Like it's insane that it's on Mayhem 4. But yeah this build is definitely one of my favorites now and it is super strong i can only imagine what playing on mayhem 3 is like like it i i i'm disgusted how much it kills on mayhem 4 so mayhem 3 like yo it's if you can get the gear for this build this build is definitely definitely what you need to be running a mayhem 4 right now at least until we figure out new things so far on mayhem 4 this is the build that is straight up just destroying things for me and another thing is now that legendaries has specific drops you can actually go farm for the face puncher and the transformer i'm not too sure what the drops are at this point we're all still trying to figure this out and i don't i'm pretty sure we haven't figured those two out yet but once we do figure them out you can also farm for this gear now i don't have to get it in world drops which is just insanely nice like i said i don't even have decent anoints on these shotguns like this is literally just basically the basis i'm not even using the terror anoints on them and this it's doing this much like it's <laughs> i can only imagine if you have like perfect anoints on the guns but anyway, that's going to do all from you guys. I hope you are really enjoying this update. I know I am. It's been a... I've been having a blast with this game. The update has fixed so many things and made the game so much better. Uh, Mayhem 4 is a little... And eh, I'll have a video coming out about that uh, later if you want to watch that. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.